हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड द प्रीवियस क्लासेस ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द पॉवर ट्रैक्स एंड द टुडे इज माय लेक्चर नंबर 12 एंड आल्सो डिस्कस द फॉकलिप ट्रैक्स अटैचमेंट्स एंड द फ्यू आउटलाइंस इज रिक्वायर्ड ड्यूरिंग टू दिस द फॉकलिप ट्रैक्स अटैचमेंट्स एंड द फॉकलिप ट्रैक अटैचमेंट्स द बैटरीज फॉर फॉकलिप ट्रैक्स एंड द टाइप ऑफ बैटरीज एंड द बैटरी रेटिंग्स एंड आल्सो एनर्जी कैलकुलेशन ऑन दिस द फॉकलिप ट्रैक्स एंड द यू कैन सी the what is the forklift truck adjustment the forklift truck at adjustment so when you have to um, your the forklift will be the startings and also some adjustment also will be required and uh, this is the uh, fork of this the forklift trucks are one of this most common adjustments also will be required and uh, another thing is that also mast will be also consider and the basically the fork is the used during to this the movement of bearings to this the upward direction as like as this the horizontal um, movement also will be considered according to this the forklift trucks and uh, according to this the fork on this the uh, these adjustments and a uh, few things also will be considered the without fork this forklift trucks not will be considered this uh, what is the forklift trucks and uh, a pair of fork is used for working with the skids and the basically the a pair of this fork we have to consider according to this the movement of uh, materials to this the upward direction as like as to this the um, uh, downwards and the, the vertical movements also you have to consider according to this the um, the pair of forklifts uh, forklifts we have to consider this will be uh, the attachment of this the forklift trucks and uh, this will be uh, when this is the forklift trucks is the forking then also will be required to this the a uh, few adjustment that like the skids uh, pallets and uh, this will be considered according to this the uh, adjustment of this the uh, forklift trucks and uh, sometimes the uh, containers and box shifts loading resistings or the legs packages also will be considered according to this the uh, uh, forklift truck adjustments and the uh, basically the without uh, containers pallets uh, this uh, materials cannot be movement and uh, cannot be uh, moved to this the uh, upward or this downward directions according to this the uh, forklift truck adjustments and uh, according to this the uh, uh, containers will be required your, your materials will be transfer and also your materials will be the fill up on this the containers and a uh, uh, box and uh, this box will be uh, movement during to this the uh, according to use to this the uh, uh, lift the, or this the uh, uh, fork on this the uh, uh, forklift trucks and the shift loads restings and also the legs uh, will be required to this the package um, the packagers and uh, sometimes you have to require the some package will be the given some supports the behind this uh, packet the four legs will be uh, put up and uh, during to this the this uh, legs is by help to this the uh, lifting or this lowering on the uh, materials to this the upward on the downward directions and uh, this is concentrated according to this the uh, legs uh, during to used uh, packagers and uh, another things the our a wide variety of this device have been designed for the attachings to lift trucks to make them um, useful for this many different tasks and uh, sometimes also concentrated the during to this the lifting trucks and the lifting trucks uh, also you have to give in some de design and also the, some attachments also will be included and the during to this the uh, this uh, attachments and the wide variety also will be concentrated according to this the uh, designated for this the attachments the lift and tracks to make them useful from the many different tasks also will be required during to this the movement of this the materials from this the upward direction and the, this is concentrated according to this the attachment of this the forklift trucks and the, some of these the common types of attachments are listed below with their the name the short description of their special use and with some of their cases and the, uh, you have to concentrate according to the boom and that this attachment is fixed with the respect to the fork carrier and uh, this is the boom is required so this is the uh, this is the basically the fixed and now with the respect to the the fork carrier also will be concentrated according to this the forklift trucks at the uh, end of this the boom the is uh, chain pulley uh, block is provided for this the lifting loads using in the hook and also the uh, ceiling will be the concentrated and the boom basically the this is the concentrated according to this the fixed uh, uh, platforms likes and also this boom will be concentrated according to this the uh, some chain uh, chain pulley types and also the block is attached attached and uh, also provide the lifting loads using this the hooks also will be uh, concentrated to this the basically the ceiling uh, you have to concentrate to this the ceiling then also will be required to this the uh, hooks then the these hooks also will be the uh, uh, attached on this the forklift truck attachment and uh, this like the this is the concentrated to this the booms and another thing is that the clamp and the clamp is the uh, required this is the hydraulic device for um, the picking up loads 
um, likes the bills, barrels, carton, etc. This gripping them with the opposite adjustment pellets also will be required. And the clamping, uh, clamping is the also uh, this is the uh, material handling equipment, and uh, this will be attached on this the forklift trucks. And uh, this is the basically sometimes required to this the hydraulic uh, device, um, the picking or this the uh, placing, and also this will be the loading and unloading like. Uh, types and uh, during to these times you have to regard the some clamping consideration and the uh, uh, this clamping consideration of always uh, you have to uh, attach on this the, the forklift and uh, this is the another concentration according to the, the um, the forklift trap uh, track uh, attachment that uh, this like this is called the uh, the clamp and uh, uh, this clamping is uh, considered according to this uh, suppose the barrel will be transferred um, according to this the forklift trucks and uh, uh, this barrel uh, transport signs uh, also required to this the uh, um, on clamping and uh, this will be in, uh, attached on this the uh, forklift trucks and also the base uh, when you have to the sheet metal type materials also will be uh, transfer and also this will be required to this the uh, loading and unloading conditions and uh, then you have to use to this the uh, forklift trucks and also this forklift trucks you have to require to this the uh, some clamping and the uh, during to this the uh, belt type of materials and also the carton will be uh, transfer from this um, uh, and also you have to record to this the uh, loading as like as unloading then you have you have to give in uh, some con concentration according to this the clamp and uh, this cartoon also this uh, and uh, sometimes we have to record to this uh, gripping gripping some things and uh, then we have to opposing adjust um, adjustments uh, adjustable plates also will be record to this the um, uh, uh, clamping on this the uh, materials and and we have to uh, transfer according to this the uh, uh, forklift trucks and uh, then this type of attachment also will be concentrated uh, according to this the uh, forklift truck attachments and uh, this will be always the uh, gripping type of materials and uh, we have to give in to this the uh, attachment on this the uh, forklift trucks uh, and also this will be concentrated to this the uh, forklift truck attachment and the uh, drum grips also will be concentrated according to this the uh, forklift track attachments for this the uh, drum handling in vertical positions and the uh, uh, this will be required the vertical positions movement and uh, without hazardness and without the uh, disturbance and also the dangerous situation will be creating um, uh, without uh, creating the dangerous situation then you have to give in some the drum grips and uh, for drum handling in the vertical position also will be concentrated according to this the uh, drum grip and the uh, crane and the, sometimes you, you have to see in the few the cranes also will be required to this the uh, extra attachment on the forklift truck and the, uh, this uh, will be um, uh, this crane mechanism, mechanism also will be the attached on this the to the forklift truck and the die handler die handler also will be concentrated according to this the uh, extra attachment on the, on the forklift truck and the, sometimes the platform to for carrying heavy loads and uh, then you have to uh, request some the die handlers and uh, this uh, uh, die handlers uh, uh, very easily uh, easily carry to this the uh, uh, heavy load that like our platforms and the uh, uh, there is the no support system also will be required during to this the transfer of materials that like the, the die handler also will be the concentrated and uh, this will be only mounted to this your the uh, forklift the extra attachments and uh, then this will be in the pla uh, platform for the carrying heavy uh, loaded and also the drop bottom container also will be required as well as the um, uh, forklift uh, attachment and the um, uh, drop bottom containers and uh, sometimes we have to see in the this is the drop bottom containers also will be available and uh, this will be required to this the attach and uh, this is the and the uh, bottom dropping will be there and uh, the to drop uh, container will be dropped to this the bottom then the this uh, on extra attachment also will be uh, mounted to this the forklift and uh, this is will be concentrated to this the drop bottom um, uh, container also will be required and another the load inverter calm pass poser and uh, sometimes you have to record to this the uh, poster uh, and uh, this is the uh, push on this uh, your materials this is the uh, up or downs and uh, uh, this is the record some this is the pallet and uh, this pallet you have to give in some push and uh, then you have to vertically movement also will be concentrated and, uh, and uh, these things you have to see in the very easily when the wood will be movement from this the one place to this the another place and also sometimes the uh, wood loading or this unloading condition um, uh, during this time so you have to give in some this the um, the push to this the uh, small gap will be creating on this the upper direction then you have to give in some this the small pallets and the during to this the pallets and the, this uh, um, the particles uh, or this the uh, materials will be loaded to this the upper direction and uh, during to this and uh, this is the very easily the transfer of your materials but there is the no defect 
and uh, there is the no uh, extra load also will be required to this the um, uh, small pushes or the small uh, uh, gap will be creating and the uh, ROM uh, RAM RAM fitted to this the lift carries uh, for this lifting uh, cylindrical loads with the with the whole uh, uh, coil etc. And uh, sometimes we have to see this the RAM is required and uh, this is the fitted uh, fitted to the lift carries what is the lifting cylindrical loads and with the whole coil etc and the uh, uh, ram also uh, this is the uh, will be this movement to this uh, vertically the upward uh, upward or the downward direction and uh, according to this the uh, ram, ram movements and also the according to this the uh, ram size that this is the uh, depends on the which uh, which uh, direction and also the um, which height also will be concentrated to this the upward or the downward direction then the ram also will be required to this the uh, attached uh, on this the forklift trucks when you have to uh, transfer materials very easily what is the ram fitted to the lift carriage for the lifting cylindrical loads with the hole coil etc also will be concentrated according to this the ram also will be the forklift truck attachments and the roller platform also will be concentrated according to this the the forklift truck attachments and so the shovel and the another thing is required and the shovel or scopes also will be required when you have to transfer this materials and uh, also this will be um, the, uh, another attachment on the, the forklift trucks and the scoop fitted uh, to the carriage for the scooping um, and the carrying loose loads and the uh, uh, few times you have to require to this the um, scoop or this the shovel and the, this will be uh, concentrated according to this the un, um, uh, the uh, uneven size of materials just like the uh, what size of uh, particles and also that this is the uh, uh, bulky load also the concentrate and uh, then this type of materials you have to uh, handle during to this the uh, scoop or this the shovel also will be concentrated this is the uh, fitting this carriage and uh, sometimes the on uh, carton or this carriage will be um, uh, packaging systems uh, this will be required to this the scoops or uh, uh, shovels and also this is the concentrate according to this the um, attachment of the forklift trucks for this the scoping and the carrying uh, loads, uh, loads also will be the concentrated. The special fork also is the concentrate according to the, the extra attachment. This is the bricks. Uh, some brick also will be required to so this the, the given some support systems, and the, this is the concentrate according to these special forks. And the, uh, sometimes we have to see in the different type of materials will be handled in the manually. Then you also will be uh, concentrate according to the small uh, bricks you have to given, then your materials handling will be the properly. And the, some blocks also will be required, and the, during to this the a block you have to give in the some support system also the your materials will be not uh, uh, movement the uh, uh, different places and also this will be uh, properly um, uh, properly hangs on this the uh, on place there is the no extra movement you have to found during to this the uh, uh, for this the on blocks will be required and this is the concentrate according to this the uh, attachment on the forklift tracks and the extend extended materials also will be the concentrated um, uh, will be required to the your this the forklift truck attachments uh, and uh, this is the concentrate according to this the extended parts of this uh, uh, forklift truck and the uh, scissors also will be uh, required for the um, uh, during to this the packaging places the um, uh, scissors is the most essential um, equipment uh, and uh, essential things also will be concentrated and uh, sometimes we have to require the different uh, cart on this the uh, uh, small parts um, that like the different uh, uh, cartoons as like the different packaging elements you have to require to this the uh, cart then also require to this the scissors and the de uh, detractable also will be the uh, concentrated to this the uh, forklift truck attachments and the vacuum the vacuum also will be uh, required for this the uh, according to this the forklift truck attachment and the uh, without vacuum your materials cannot be uh, movement and also your the, the fork cannot be uh, movement uh, accurately and uh, then also you have to create some vacuum and uh, during to this the hydraulic uh, concentration also will be concentrated what is the handling lift and the fragile objects by a set of suction uh, ponds also will be uh, required and uh, during to this the uh, on compressor also will be available and uh, for this uh, the for handling lift uh, lights and the fragile object and uh, you always the uh, attach or this is uh, a set of the suction point that like the vacuum will be required to this the uh, creating vacuum and the side shifter also will be uh, concentrated according to this the uh, um, the forklift uh, attachment and uh, with the attachments a load on truck uh, can be moved from the 100 to 150 millimeter on each side will be essential this is the uh, on is the attachment the load down the uh, tracks can be moved from this the 100 to 150 millimeter on each side so then use the help of the enormously in stronging loads storing loads without any damage to storage rack and the um, the marks 
Mars Adais. Uh, Mars Adais also will be concentrated according to the, the side, shift, side shifters. Under these side shifters, uh, you have to vary uh, on the uh, tracks can be moved from this uh, 100 to 150 uh, millimeter each sides. And the, this is the basically the um, storing loads without the, any damage also uh, will be required to this the attachment. The side shifter attachment also will be essential. The storage uh, racks you have to uh, without uh, any damage also you have to concentrate to this the storage rack and the, um, the you have to uh, according to this the side shifter. And uh, another thing this is the rotor. This is a this is used in the conjunction with a clamp or fork attachments to rotate uh, rotate load or for the saber grips uh, during the movement with loads also will be concentrated according to the uh, rotor and the, you, have, you can see the rotor is the very essential and the, because of uh, your medias you have to record sometimes the uh, moving uh, moving uh, the this is the horizontal movement vertical horizontal vertical and also this will be required to the uh, movement also and the, during to this the movement and the one rotor uh, attachment also will be required and the, without Rotary attachments, your materials cannot be um, rotating, uh, that like the cannot be moved properly. But this is the use to conjunction with a clamp or the fork attachment to rotate loads or for the safer grip. And the safer grip also will be uh, required to this the uh, rotor. And uh, this will be uh, during this the movement with loads. And uh, uh, this movement with loads, the without rotor, it cannot be uh, given this the proper support when you have to but your materials properly during to this the forklift trucks and uh, this forklift trucks also you have to concentrate to this the uh, rotor for this the uh, rotating on this uh, load um, the during to this the load system, uh, types and also the during to this the movement of materials properly the without damage and uh, without uh, uh, during to this the damage of this materials then all things also will be uh, given this destroyed and also you have to require to this the without damage your materials properly movement for this the one rotor will be concentrated during to this the uh, movement of a uh, uh, low type of materials and another things also will be uh, concentrated according to this the batteries for forklift trucks and uh, uh, because of your the forklift trap also will be uh, required according to this the battery concentration that like the you have to movement uh, by this the battery and uh, either the power also will be uh, essential for the batteries is the very important things uh, during to this the power systems or the forklift trucks and the uh, engine driving the tracks are comparatively um, comparatively cheaper than the battery operated uh, trucks moreover engine the, um, the driving tracks can be used almost uh, uh, without the needed of electricity and the despite the all those the number of batteries um, number of batteries also will be concentrated because of the there is the no electricity and the extra power also will be concentrated according to this the um, uh, forklift trucks and the, then you have to the engine driven trucks are comparably cheaper cheaper than the battery operated trucks and the, uh, you have to uh, uh, engine driven trucks basically the this will be required to the uh, fuel and that uh, this fuel will be the more um, uh, consumable and also this is the more cost also will, will be found during to the uh, um, uh, fuel trucks and uh, basically the battery operated trucks is the uh, cheaper cost and also this will be uh, required to this the movement from this the uh, very easily then you have to concentrate according to this the battery for this the forklift truck and the the driving trucks can be used the almost without the need of electricity and uh, basically the there is the uh, uh, without the need of the electricity you have to concentrate according to these the uh, batteries despite the all this is uh, this the number of batteries um, also will be concentrated and the trucks contain uh, used to the increase the particular uh, particularly uh, for the capacities up to three tons due to the factors like the overall um, overall lower and the uh, the three tons uh, basically the your forklift trucks is the uh, transfer this materials the basically the, this is the low load we concentrate the uh, three tons will be concentrated and uh, during this is the uh, these three tons uh, how will be uh, transfer and uh, also how you have to given this power and then you have to the battery concentration is the more because of the you have to transfer your materials during to this the minimum the three tons due to the factor like the uh, overall lower and uh, this will be the uh, lower load also will be concentrated according to this the then the you have to more power also will be required and also this is the capacity the minimum the three tons power can be movement by your battery and the, this concentration also will be con uh, concentrated according to this the battery power and uh, either your uh, um, uh, 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 forklift trucks cannot be 
properly works because the you cannot be given to this the below three tons three tons you have to transfer by this the your battery power then this is the very bad and the for this you have to concentrate because this is the minimum the overall the three tons um, the, the three tons uh, materials can be moved and the maintenance cost and the lack of smoke and uh, uh, some uh, maintenance cost will be the concentrate the um, and also the lack of smokes you have to concentrate the, um, the fume and the noise and the noise fume and also noise will be uh, measured uh, properly and the uh, no noise uh, um, and also you have to maintain the each and every uh, times the time to time uh, then you have to uh, concentrate according to this the maintenance cost and the lack of smokes and the fume and the noise also will be the the battery operated uh, trucks are particularly suitable uh, suitable because the, there is the uh, no uh, extra um, uh, smoke you will be creating on this the uh, environment and the, this is the uh, control our environment and also that there is the uh, no environmental pollution will be found during to this the uh, systems and for this the the battery uh, vehicles like the, the battery trucks also will be the good uh, there is the uh, operator and also this is the least cost also will be uh, concentrated and uh, there is the um, suitable for our this environment and this is the for warehousing um, and the operations in the con uh, con uh, confined uh, confines uh, the areas also will be the concentrated for this the warehouses and the operations in the confined areas also will be concentrated the however prerequisite that uh, to using battery operated uh, also will be the concentrated or this the warehousing operations also will be the confined by this the uh, batteries of this the forklift trucks and the prerequisite is for using batteries operated systems can be uh, concentrated according to your this the uh, batteries for the forklift trucks and also this will be concentrated according to this the extra attachment of the forklift trucks and the trucks is availability of electricity and battery charging facility also will be required and the basically the battery uh, systems you have to concentrate then you have to record to this the um, uh, on electricity during to this the charging on the your battery and the tracks is availability for uh, of electricity and battery charging systems can facility will be required during to this the battery for the forklift trucks and uh, sometimes during to this the battery of the forklift trucks you have to record the types of batteries the how many types of batteries is uh, available the batteries may be either of lead acid of or the nickel alkaline types of sufficient uh, sufficient also the, this is the type of batteries the batteries may be the lead acid or uh, sorry lead acid or the nickel alkaline type of sufficient uh, um, sufficient also will be there this is the mr uh, our capacity to ensure that the list on full day operations the, the uh, um, you have to record the which uh, um, which ampere will be required ampere per hour will be required during to this the capacity to ensure this is the uh, a yeah, full uh, full day work operation also the which uh, power will be required this is the always maintained and the advantage of lead acid batteries are the lower cost also will be concentrated and the uh, sometimes the uh, cost is the very essential fact in our the um, uh, all places because you know the operation cost also will be concentrated decode um, according to this your the cost of this the battery and the because the your the, um, the uh, high cost uh, equipment and the you have to transfer this the uh, materials then you have to given the uh, high uh, operating cost also your this materials transfer from the one place to the another place for this the your the uh, least cost um, the batteries also you have to consider then you, have, you can be transfer your materials the uh, low cost then this will be the advantage on this your equipment and the lower cost also will be concentrated this, this is the advantage of this the uh, lead acid batteries and the greater energy also will be concentrated this will be kilometer uh, kilo hour uh, watt per hour is the capacity energy energy will be concentrated capacity is the given space um, the, uh, when the this is the greater energy is given and also the uh, lower cost also will be concentrated according to the, the lead uh, acid battery and uh, also the uh, this is the lower um, uh, given the space also will be the record to this the lower and uh, another thing is that the resistance also will be concentrated according to this the type of battery this is the internal resistance also will be concentrated the benefit of nickel alkaline battery are the uh, nickel alkaline battery that this is the longer life will be concentrated according to you have to uh, record to this the 
um, uh, longer life then you have to concentrate to the uh, nickel alkaline battery either you are the uh, not uh, longer life you have to form what is the you have to record to the uh, longer life then you have to concentrate according to the uh, nickel alkaline batteries and the uh, another thing is the better mechanical strength also will be concentrated according to the alkaline nickel alkaline batteries and the uh, strength is the another thing that means the you have to longevity and uh, the long life and long term you have to concentrate then also the mechanical strength will be very mass essential when you uh, you have to um, produce some things and uh, this is the uh, higher strength uh, is found uh, the alkaline battery and the non corrosive electricity and the uh, basically the corrosion is the um, huge disturbance in our the mechanical as well as the uh, civil civil locks and uh, without uh, as uh, um, you have to concentrate according to this the um, uh, according to what the uh, corrosiveness and the corrosiveness is the very mass difficulties will be creating during to this the uh, corrosive and uh, uh, this is the all things you have to destroy the uh, this will be the cross corrosion is the basically the unwanted uh, chemical erosion and uh, this uh, uh, during to this the chemical erosion and uh, this is the your materials will be the destroyed and uh, for this you have to require to this the non corrosive electrolyte will be essential uh, this will be the long <coughs> the longer life also will be concentrated ko is which, which does not freeze the shorter um, the recharge period also will be required and um, the, this is the um, also will be the support charger also will be concentrated during to this the or uh, short times you have to the um, uh, high uh, short times you have to given this charge and also this will be very easily the um, uh, uh, charge will be done this is the uh, non critical control of this the uh, ch charging also will be required and the also the current also is the essential and the, this is the battery voltage and the another thing is the essential this is the battery voltage the battery voltage has largely been standardized by the um, industrial trucks manufacturer arts also will be essential and uh, this you have to given the this is the track um, the battery voltage and also the capacity of this the uh, this uh, below table uh, shows the types of capacities of battery operated trucks and the average voltage employed uh, for their operation also will be concentrated and the average battery voltage of various industrial trucks you have to give uh, this given this is the, the track capacity tons and the type of trucks the 0 0.5 to uh, 3.0 uh, you have to concentrate and uh, another thing is the 3.5 to 5.0 and the over all the 5 to uh, 8 uh, and uh, 8 to 20 over the 20 uh, 20 this is the type of tracks will, will be um, concentrated according to this the uh, capacity of this the tons and the hand trucks powers also will be concentrated to this the 12 volt and the forklift trucks concentrated according to the 24 by uh, 36 volt and another thing is the uh, 36 volt also will be concentrated and the platform trucks also uh, will be concentrated according to the 24 by 36 volt and um, uh, 30 uh, 6 volt and 36 by 48 volt, volt also will be concentrated and another things will be concentrated to the, the 48 volt and the uh, 72 volt and the, this will be concentrated according to the, the, um, the voltage on the batteries and the, another things is the very important thing that this will be given to the, the or the rating of the battery and the, this is called the battery rating and the it is the essential that sufficient battery capacity be provided to allow um, <coughs> uninterrupted uh, also will be concentrated and the uh, uh, battery rating is the much more essential the, um, the suffering uh, sufficient battery capacity to pro uh, be provided to allow uninterrupted also will be concentrated and another these things you, you have to hear the operations of the uh, track during the normal uh, operation periods and the capacity of a battery is rated in ampere Hour four ampere uh, hour four also will be the uh, this is the operation of this the track during the normal operation periods will be concentrated the normal operation period and the uh, capacity battery is dated in uh, ampere hour in the also will be concentrated and another thing is the a six hours discharge period also will be concentrated according to this the rating of your battery and the six hour discharge period and another thing is the this rating divided by six gives the current draw in the amperes and the this is the current draw is concentrated according to the, the amperes and the for this will be the divided to the, the six uh, uh, divisions and the, this will be the uh, give the current draw amperes which is, uh, if the continuous six hours uh, continuous six hours will be concentrated will the uh, completely discharge uh, discharge the battery uh, this average voltage multiplied by the amp 
amperes also will be concentrated according to this the uh, uh, rating of your this battery uh, another thing the rating give the total energy capacity of the battery in watt uh, watt hours and the, the which uh, energy is the uh, capacity and the which energy you have to um, rating is given the rating give the total energy capacity of the battery in watt hours now one hour the which uh, energy will be the rated and also the which energy you have to uh, given some uh, uh, energy for your battery and the, this will be concentrated according to this the uh, battery rating that this battery size for this the forklift trucks of the uh, various and the various capacity have been standardized by this the manufacturer and the basically that this will be concentrated according to this the manufacturer the battery selection also will be concentrated the battery selection is based on uh, the energy rating for this the uh, for a uh, proposed duty cycles also will be concentrated according to this the uh, battery selections and the how you have to select your battery and the, this will be the tracks within a given period between the two battery uh, change and the uh, during to this the um, suppose the, the three hours you have to um, given your this battery uh, the which uh, uh, capacity also will be done and also um, these charges also your battery and another things the the same period and the uh, OS efficiency also will be concentrated and uh, what is the tracks within a given period between two battery changes and the uh, energy calculation for the different um, uh, different operations also will be concentrated during to this the uh, battery selection was the very much essential are based on certain uh, certain charts and the formula adapted by the, the electrical industrial tracks association also will be uh, concentrated according to your the uh, selection of batteries and the basically the this is the depends on this the the electrical industrial tracks association this is the um, uh, chart and of formula given the which um, type of energy you have to uh, require to this the uh, and uh, this will be um, concentrated according to your selection on your battery and the 1950 uh, standard is through the field study also will be concentrated and the uh, you have to en energy calculation the also you will be concentrated the how you have to calculate your the energy and uh, basically the energy calculations you have to concentrate and the uh, average watt hours of the energy required the accelerated drives and the tracks over a uh, level distance also will be given and the by this the table and the for intermediate distance the data may be in interpolated also will be concentrated according to your the um, energy calculation the energy consumptions for other operations on this the forklift tracks are given by this the Following a set of equations, also you have to concent, um, the, we are concentrated and the travel up the grade and the travel up the grade also is the can concentrate the extra energy, the extra energy in watts hours required in additions to that the required for this the level um, the level learning uh, running the total um, the tons also is the uh, concentrated in the track loads and uh, track plus loads you have to given the what is the total. To, uh, total weights that like the track and also the load and uh, this is the multiplied by the length of uh, grades in feet and also this will be given the percentage and also 0 0.013 uh, where the grade and uh, this is the concentrate according to the the um, uh, 10 theta this is the tilting and uh, for you have to given the 0 0.013 and the going drone um, the down <coughs> down grade steppers then the 20 part 2 percent requires no power and the distance down grade may be uh, subtracted from this the length of runs also will be concentrated and the another things the lifting energy in watt hours also will be concentrated equals to the ton of load lifting that like the uh, how uh, loads you have to lift uh, during to the your the forklift trucks and the, this is the tons of this the load lifting and also into the feet of lift and the uh, which uh, height of this feet of lift also will be concentrated and the into the two that like the up and down you have to concentrate this is the two for this the empty lift will be concentrated is the one third into load capacity in tons in the feet of lift into two and the uh, tilted energy also is the concentrated the watt hours goes to ton of uh, load into one this will be concentrated according to this the uh, tilting energy and the for empty lift is the equals to the 1 by 3 load capacity in the tons into 1. This is the uh, concentrate according to the, the how you have to energy calculation during to the, the forklift trucks and basically the, this three uh, formula is the concentrate according to the uh, calculation of the energy calculation on the forklift trucks and the another things we have to given the some approximate what our required for this the forklift trucks given this will be the uh, one table and uh, this um, uh, table is the uh, follow 
uh, on your the um, uh, systems and also the this is the, um, the another things also the on a problem we have to um, calculate it and uh, the a battery operated forklift trucks weigh the 4000 pounds inclined um, including weight of this the battery and the operators it is the uh, carrying a weight of 2000 pounds the trucks lift uh, the load to uh, two feet and carries the load to a distance of 200 feet of the which uh, 170 is uh, along level uh, road uh, road and the balance to the 30 uh, feet and the upgrade of 6% after discharging the load is return, um, returns over same roads. Calculate the total weight, the watt hours of energy spent by the trucks, the select suitable battery. If the trucks have uh, has to make 200 such trips daily, the total energy can be calculated by summing up energy spent for this, the following element, elements of activities, the total run with loads, the second question is the extra power for the 30 feet of incline travel at the 6 percent grades and the return empty run uh, detecting the down gates turn for uh, uh, lifting loads and the tilting of this mast also will be concentrated the, this is the calculation will be the energy for the total run that is the the total run with the loads the uh, total weight of the tracks with the load 6000 pounds from the chart from the start basically the the, this is the chart also will be given the this chart you have to pound to the um, 6000 um, 6, uh, pounds from the chart we found the energy required the required for this the, um, the 200 feet runs we, we have to consider the 24 watt hours also will be given to this the chart and the another thing the uh, extra uh, power for this the 30 feet of inclined travel at the six percent grade also will be concentrated the is the extra power for this going upgrade just like the six thousand by two thousand basically the six thousand pounds will be load will, uh, is the concentrated by two thousand that means the the this two thousand will be the uh, energy required uh, two thousand you have to given uh, by this the uh, by two two thousand uh, uh, pound will be the weight carrying capacity under into thirty into six into zero point zero on uh, 0 0.013 also this will be the 7.02 part and the energy for empty run also will be calculated the, this is the um, empty run that means the uh, 200 uh, 200 minus 30 this is the 170 feet will be the energy will be the empty movement also will be concentrated and the, from this the chart will be the interrupted the 10 plus um, 16 minus uh, 10 that like the 10 means that this is the uh, 100 100 will be concentrated to the 10 plus the another 70 also will be calculated by the interpolations and the 10 minus uh, 16 minus 10 into uh, 0.7 this is the 14.2 watt and the lifting energy also will be concentrated 2000 by 2000 into 2 lift into 2 equals to 4 watt and the tilting energy also uh, with uh, loads and the 2000 by 2000 into 1 equals to 1 hour and the tilting energy without load also will be the uh, concentrated 1 by 3 into 2000 by 2000 into 1 this is the 1 by 3 watt hours also will be the concentrated assuming the two tilts without loads and the one tilt without loads the total energy of the tilting also the concentrated 2 into 1 plus 1 by 3 equals to 2 um, 5 by 3 also will be the no, sorry 2 into uh, 1 by 3 also will be the um, concentrated so watt hours and the, this estimated total energy for this the above duty cycles also will be calculated the whole um, the energy is the added the this is the 24 plus 7.02 plus 14.2 plus 4 plus uh, 2.33 that's like the value is the 51.55 watt hour and the uh, for the 200 trips the total energy requires 200 into 51.55 just like the uh, 10 310 watt hours also will be required and the uh, this is the another thing is that there is the uh, some uh, thing is uh, concentrate concentrated and uh, my dear friends and the next classes also already uh, next classes we can discuss the tractor thank you